What does influence people's individual fashion? Is it trends, culture, religion, or friends? So I would describe my style as like very vibrant, very tribal, colorful. Um, I like a lot of bright um, colors. I like nudes and I also like olives as well, especially during the specific times of seasons. Um, I really like street style and ripped jeans and high-waisted um, pants, so sometimes religion right and faith so um, some of our students of color might dress a little bit more um, provocatively or they there might be some ladies who dress more conservatively because they have a more conservative um, foundation um, I don't know if those things are specific to race as much as I would say that they might be correlated to a faith practice um, or just connected to personal values. This year where I'm more Afrocentric, I like the mambo braids and I like the big hair and I'm, I'm kind of embracing my culture a little bit more than I kind of did when, you know, last year, years before that, I'm kind of embracing who I am, you know, because I'm a strong African-American woman, so I try to kind of portray that. I think students should express their culture, their fa their fashion sense, their values um, in the way that they dress. I take a lot of inspiration from people like Jerry Lorenzo, who is uh, the creator of the Spear of God brand, which is pretty much um, urban streetwear. And, uh, and that, that style kind of uh, branched out to places like H&M and PacSun, so I think that it kind of, uh, my style is just a mixture of a lot of different things, I think here, um, our males tend to, they're either in athletic gear or they're just kind of wearing their jeans and t-shirts. So I see that across the board. The guys who are on campus, they have their own sense of style. Um, depending on where they're from, usually a lot of people from New York wear a specific look. A lot of people from Philadelphia wear a specific look. Um, I guess it just depends on where you're from. These days, I would say just across the board, Fashion trends are no longer really for one demographic or another. A trend right now that um, I've I've been looking at a lot is the distressed jeans and like a lot with the ankle zippers too, because you can adjust how you want to wear them, uh, and definitely layering the shirts. I think it just adds a little more depth to what you're wearing. We gotta understand that a lot of people they they are dressing how they want to dress, and we can't be so quick to judge people. Off of that. I've seen a lot more um, uh, women who are covering, wearing maybe what's called kimars um, or hijabs if they are practicing Muslims or if they are affiliated with Islam. Um, and that is not something to me that's a fashion choice, but a, a part of their identity. A lot of black African Americans, uh, we have like, we do a lot with either we wear the weave, we wear the crochet. Um, as in fashion-wise, um, I think everybody kind of has their own style. I think it's really important to express yourself through your clothing options and just your style in general because I think when you feel like you're wearing something nice, it just makes you feel good about yourself and you kind of walk a little bit better and with more of a swagger. And I think it just, I think it helps a lot for your mood, honestly, because that's, I mean, it does that for me. So I think it's really important. I think it's a little bit of both as far as people following a trend and people, um, I guess, following their ethnicity because I think that it's, it's, it plays a part in a little bit of everyday style because you want to still stay up to date but yet you still want to try to incorporate what you like and I guess your culture in some sense. So I feel like it's a little bit of both at the same time and I don't think there's anything wrong with people either way like if you want to show your um, clothing through the way you look or whether it's just something that you like. I think that style is style and there's a reason why we have it.